All right, guys, I'm out here this morning on a quick little session before work with Johnny. Johnny's never been onto any stream trout, never fished for them before, so really keen to show him the ropes and sort of show him what it's about getting out here in these little streams chasing wild trout. The last time I took someone out that hadn't done this before, they got a three pound rainbow as their first wild rainbow. So if you want to check that one out, I'll pop a little link to that up there. And as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a comment below and like the video if you like what you're seeing. Let's get stuck into it. Good fish, man. Wow, second cast already fish. Insane. Same thing again. There's three places you want to cast this side of the current in that slack water, up the current, and then that side of the current. Um, generally, I'd work closest to you to furthest you, so I'll go this side, middle, that side. Because if you hook, oh, you want to do middle as well. Yeah, yeah. Because the current's a little bit slower here. Yeah. But yeah, definitely try and put one up into that like eddy behind that log. No, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Tiny brown. Absolutely tiny. It's so nice, man. There we go. Itty bitty brown there. First of the trip. Beautiful markings on him. Got the white tips of his fins and everything. Yep. Nice one. There we go, better trout. Come on, bud, come on, settle, 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 settle. Yeah, but you want to probably cast from about there so you don't spook anything. Try slow it down and bring a bit more control into it. Short dropper, really controlled actions. There we go, perfect. Hmm. Go on. Yeah, yeah, little guy. Lift him up so I can see him. I don't know where he is. Yes. Yeah. Yes. First round. Yes. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm fine. Yeah. Yes. There we go. Johnny's just got his first trout. Filmed a little release on his phone, but I won't chuck it in the video. That's yeah, a better fish. Shows I'm one casting. I cast like, like, what, 50 centimeters off. Yeah. Got that one with the old GoPro tucked under the arm. Yep. Woo. Rainbow. He's fighting well. This is a good fish. He's going Shit, hard good in fish. the current. That's a good fish. Okay. It's a good fish. Yeah, he went hard, man. Chest winds. Oh, oh, nearly. He's foul hooked as well. That's why, nice. it was, why it was so hard to get. Oh, that's so. That's so good. 
But did you see how the rainbows were in such fast flowing water compared to the browns? Yeah. That's really usual. They need way more oxygen. More energy, is that right? Yep. Uh, this is a brown. Oh yeah, that's, that's not bad. One. That's a big one. Shit. So he was up just behind that stick. Johnny's hooked up while I was filming some other stuff. Oh, I'm the net man. Oh, oh, tiny brown. Where is he? There we go. They're actually a little bit cute at that size. Try a cast straight to that um, root ball as well. Nice. Didn't get him. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's so sick, man. All right, just keep him up here. Keep him up here. Don't follow him down. Bring him up. He's a small trout. Muscle him round. Swing him out to me. There we go. Oh, that was so sick. Here we are, just releasing Johnny's first good-sized trout. It's his third brown. Ooh, and he's away. That'll do. Hopefully that swims right. Yep. On. Nope. Okay, give it a bit of a give it a bit of a pull. You're getting a lot of hits without hooking up. Reckon it's cool. Try and get one right up the top. You're still only hitting the back end of it. Nice. On. Good fish. Good fish. Yeah, it's a good hole. I told you this is good where fish. I caught my Holy biggest shit, one. That's so big. Yeah, swing him over. Shit, that's so big! There we go, man. Johnny's just picked up an absolute ripper. A great trout to pick up for your first time ever fishing the streams. I was just saying to him, and I thought I'd make the point to you guys as well. This time of year, so we're nearly mid-January now, and we've had really hot weather. You're really looking for oxygenated water, a bit faster than you'll find them at the start and end of the season, and deeper holes for those bigger fish. There we go. Oh, I put the net on the wrong side. That's another nice brown. Yeah, I saw it eat. Oh, you saw it eat? Yeah, well, I called yup before you hooked up. Yeah. Where is he? Lift him up. Where the fuck did he go? Ready? There we go. It's been a while since we've landed one. Nice brown Johnny just got there. Just gonna pop him back. Hey, rainbow! Rainbow, yes! Yeah. Yes! Yes, yes! Hang on. We'll, uh... Oh, oh, oh well. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's pretty much exactly where I got mine from. Rainbow! Oh, just came off! Oh, oh shit! Yes, dude! Yes! Woo. That fish just came off as I netted it. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it! Yep, got him! Right. What the fuck? He's got a lot of go for a brown. Oh, <laughs> he was jagged in the side. He did not eat that properly. All right, this is going up. Yep. 
Yeah, right up there. The rainbow. You can tell just from the way it was fighting. Got him! Steer him, steer him, steer him! Get your rod tip low, get your rod tip real low. There we go. No, he's still on, he's still on. Lift him up, steer him out, get him out of the timber. Nice brown. There we go guys, Woo! just a tiger there. I wasn't paying attention on the way back and um, nearly walked straight into him. You can see he's real angry there. Got his neck flattened out. I'm just gonna move away a bit. Oh man, my heart rate is up real high. All right, as you can probably tell, I'm not on the river anymore. I filmed an outro before I bumped into that tiger snake there and just thought I'd refilm it and sort of let you guys know a bit about what actually happened there. I was walking along and just sort of got distracted using my phone and ended up standing right next to it. It had a crack, hit me on the pants and then I jumped back, um, calmed down, calmed Johnny down. He'd never seen a snake before which is why I sounded so calm in that video. I was just trying to keep him calm. It sort of brings snakes back into attention. They're not something to be super scared of, but I thought I'd go through a few of the things that I carry with me and what I do to try and minimize any issues that I do have. So when I'm out there in my bag, I carry snake bandages and a PLB. Uh, it's a personal locator beacon. It means if I do get tagged or if something else does go wrong, I've got a way to get out of there essentially. And then the snake bandages, specifically for snake bites, um, helps to compress the muscle, stop any movement to make sure that venom doesn't travel up through into other areas. Um, the other big thing is just being vigilant where you are. Uh, I really screwed up being on my phone, walking back through the bush there. I should have been paying attention where I was walking and I wasn't, and I very nearly got caught out for it. Anyway, there's a fun little session there with Johnny up until that snake. We picked up quite a few fish between us with Johnny picking up an absolute cracking brown and ticking off his first brown trout and first wild rainbow trout in the process. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a comment below and I'll catch you next time.